Okay, so uh, give us a little update on the resonator, whatever you're allowed to tell us. Um, well, you know, we're continuing with the efforts. It's been a long journey, as you know, because it's been, you know, plagued with um, difficulties raising funds and, you know, doing research in physics is expensive and laboratories expensive, engineers and so on. And so um, we're moving forward. We, we have upcoming tests that are going to be fun um and uh you know the idea i think you're, everybody kind of gets it from it was so well explained and the animation is so amazing um that um you know the idea is that um basically you are making a small galaxy <laughs> in a, in a in a jar and um and it basically um i i affords you a little pinch in space time a little curvature of space time in that region and that singularity in particular you can control very well because you can control the coils and you can control the rotations and so on and eventually hopefully you can it, it will symbiotically link with your brain and you can control it directly that way um, but basically uh you know the uh, the the rotational relationship of the toroids in there uh, will place the singularity in a region um, so for instance if you have a toroid uh, at different resonance frequency you can place the, the singularity uh, or the curvature you can displace the curvature in space-time you know along a certain axe and all of a sudden the 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 vehicle that's hosting this object will be falling into that into that well that you're creating ahead of it and when it does um it's accelerating away from the surface of the earth it's you know accelerating in any direction you want to and the acceleration can be extremely high um, and um, the velocities to the point that you can create such a vortex mouth that you could open a wormhole ahead of the ship and uh, actually travel non-linearly <laughs> from this region of space where you open the mouth of the wormhole to another region of space um in and on the other side of the galaxy or within another galaxy or even another universe so it's um it's really exciting and the idea that wormholes first of all wormholes are direct um consequences of einstein field equations but as well um, the idea that wormholes were not traversable was thought to be because the mouth is so small it's at the Planck scale that like opening the mouth would use a lot of energy and so on uh, the consideration came later but not well popularized again that you might be able to spin the Planck scale to open the mouth right a collective behavior and then you know make a larger wormhole so it um it's you know these are the things that are possibilities including energy production and so on